Welcome to Triotech Software Trainings YouTube channel. So today we came up with a new uh, concept that is how to view locked users in the system and how to unlock the users in the Fusion application. Because if I if if I want to unlock the user accounts that whose accounts got locked in the system, first of all I should know who are all the accounts in the system that are in the locked status that the flag is locked. Like basically when the user accounts will get locked in the system team and what happens if the user account gets locked in the system. See, uh, two things. One is if you are trying to log in into the user account uh, with the wrong password multiple times, right? Let's suppose if you try to log in into your user account with the wrong password for multiple times, then the user accounts will automatically get locked. Or else for a specific time period, if organization decided that the user should not be able to access to the system, something like he got suspended for quite some days, for 15 days or 20 days or one month. Organization decided that for these months, the user should not able to access the application. So manually also HR admins can go to the employee user account and they can log the account. So it might be any case, automatically the account getting locked because of the or trying with multiple wrong passwords in the system, then the account will be locked by the system itself. Or HR admin manually locked the user account in the system for the employee. In both these cases, the accounts will get locked and employee cannot be able to log in into the system. When he is twice with user credentials and password, it will be giving up a message called authentication failed. Authentication failed like that, the message will be coming. Now, from the organization point of view, as a IT manager in the organization, I want to know how many employees facing this issue, how many employees user accounts got locked and how many employees couldn't able to uh, uh, log in into the system. Every day as an IT manager or a concerned HR manager, I am receiving requests from the employee that I couldn't able to log in into my system. It's showing an authentication fail. So as a HR manager or an IT manager, I want to know, first of all, how many people in the system having this issue? How many accounts got locked in the system because of these two reasons? It might be from the point of employee, he did wrongly logged in with wrong password, system locked, or manually at some point of time, HR only uh, did the locking of the user account. Now I want to know, in order to unlock their accounts, I want to know, how many employees affected with this one? So you don't need to write any query from the backend team. You don't need to go to you don't need to go to BI tool, uh, go to SQL query and writing up from the tables of user records. Nothing. We have by default Oracle deliver a standard process available called locked users. If you if you can go to the scheduled process and if you run this particular process, then you can get the list of employees who are currently locked in the system. So in order to get access to that particular process also, you should be having a role called IT security manager role. Now, first of all, what I will do is I will go to the system. First, I will go to any existing employee and I will try to lock his account in. And then we will see by running the report, does I getting that details or not? So as a HR admin, if you want to lock the user account, where we have to go, go to tools, security console okay and then go to users okay and then uh, search for your user let's say i am giving role username something called role mapping uh, okay something called john dunbar this is one of the employee account in the system so in order to lock it what i have to do as a hr admin, i can go to action and i can click on lock account here simply okay now see his account get locked. So now if my employee logins with his credentials, he cannot able to do that in fact. Why? Because now his account got locked in the system and his credentials will no more work. It will show as authentication failed. Now I want to know. So this is one of the employee I'm showing here practically. But in the system, let's assume we have many people affected with this case. I want to know how many people are locked in the system first of all. Go to tools. Under tools, we have scheduled processes, right? 
under scheduled processes go to schedule new process okay then search with a process called locked users click on search and search with a task uh, process named called locked users see there is one process available by default in the system click on okay okay click on okay and then and then you can click on submit so as soon as you click on submit the process will start running in the system and then the output will be coming so it will take quite some time because uh, depending upon the number of users that we are having in the system and also uh, depending upon the size of the user accounts basically okay now if i click on this one team the locked users process got completed as such these are basic instances much user accounts are not there in the system so immediately the process got submitted but when you are working depending upon the size of the population the process will take slight bit of time don't worry about that okay locked users and then you have the attachment here click on this attachment and then you can download the .csv file. Either we have a couple of things. It will give you either, uh, I mean, it will give you two reports team basically. One is currently whoever active in the system, but their accounts got locked. Means employee active in the system, their accounts got locked. They are the crucial cases. That report is this one, locked users. This report is about locked and inactive users obviously team whenever an employee terminated from the system he resigned his job he submitted the resignation or termination automatically as we know his assignment status will become inactive and also the user account will get locked the user account will become inactive and also account will get locked team correct so you will get both the reports who are currently active in the system but their accounts are locked this report will give you who are inactive in the system and their accounts are locked. You can download both the reports from this process team. Click on this one. This is about see locked user CSV. If I open this one team, I can get the details. See currently in the system, these are the two people who are active, but their accounts are locked. See my, my user, John Dunbar, which I wantedly did as a HR admin locking of the account right see the report featured and there is one more employee called Shalini Nehra whose user account who who is active in the system but still the account is inactive now if I download this report I will get who, what, what information in this file team who are inactive and their accounts are locked now see the file got downloaded from here also if I go here that file is still loading no one is there in the system team so i am using a fresh instance so the data is not available but if you have any such records available in the system who are inactive and their accounts are locked then you will get this particular file team so basically when termination happens the status will become uh, inactive to the account team not locked actually but inactive so either of that two cases you will get the report here team so by looking at the report as a HR admin, I can manually go to the system and I can unlock the account. Now I have, who are all the two people got affected with this? John Dunbar and Shalini Nehra. Now see, I will go to the system. I will go to security console. How to unlock the account also I'm showing team. Go to user, then search that user team. John Dunbar, my account is here. Then I can go to see the locked flag is yes actions just simply click on unlock account this account got restored same with shalini nehra's account the user account is this one username is this one search here this is the user see the status is locked for her also now if i can unlock it it's done so i can get all the information of the user's team how many people got affected with that uh, user account locking in the system so by running this process, okay, by running this process, locked users, I will get the report of both the people who are active and their accounts are locked and who are inactive and their accounts are locked. Both the cases, I will get the details. Team. So as an IT admin, administrator or a HR manager, once I get the report handy to me, I can go to 
manually to the system from the point of security console, user account, search the user, and they can unlock the accounts, right? So this is the approach usually in the organizations they do follow in order to get the bulk information of the employee. So you don't need to write any query at the back end from the BA report area or from the BA OTBA report from some of the subject areas to fetch the information about the locked user account stream. Simply, if you run the process, then you will have the details handy available. Both the CSPs files will be embedded with the results. You can download them and you can make use of to unlock the accounts in the system. Right. So this is about uh, how to view the locked user accounts in the system and how to unlock the users in the Fusion application. So if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, like the video, and also please share this video to your uh, friends or the groups who are in need to know this particular process in place. And please do subscribe to our YouTube channel in order to get more updates or videos on Oracle applications. Thank you everyone for watching this video.